this is a historic moment and it's not lost on me. understand how important it is for so many people out there, um, so many different communities that I um, stand on their shoulders and I have been throughout my career. We lived very humble, we had very humble beginnings. My dad was a New York City cab driver, my mom a home health care aide, they worked six, six, seven days a week. There was a time where I attempted to take my life. I attempted suicide, and it was a dark, dark time in my life, clearly. And, um, and so I put that in the book. I put it in the book because I want to help people. I want anybody who's ever felt that way to feel like there's a way out. Two years after beginning my graduate studies in the wake of 9-11, I graduated. I was a featured speaker from my class, but I had never spoken in public before. I wasn't sure of my speaking abilities, but I was sure of what I wanted to say. I talked to my fellow graduates about the importance of maintaining idealism, even when reality makes you want to give in. I believe that imagination is what allows us to care for one another. immigrant, everything, the hardship that I've gone through, and here I am walking into the White House going to work for the first black president. It was a great experience and uh, I, I cherish it. The man who is now sitting in the building I used to work in hates everything that I am. A black, gay, immigrant woman who's unafraid to fight him. was terrified of public speaking altogether. When I had to give updates in meeting in front of important people, I often stumbled all over myself. A friend who worked with me at the White House told me I should do TV. TV, I thought. It never crossed my mind. I realized looking back that at some point I had limited my own imagination for what I was capable of doing because I didn't like giving speeches. I believe that uh, you know being high, being behind this podium, uh, being in this room, uh, being in this building is not about one person. It's about you know what we do on behalf of the American people. Um, clearly, the president believes in, in representation matters, um, and I appreciate him giving me this opportunity.
she will give a voice to so many and allow and show so many what is truly possible when you work hard and dream big and that matters and we should not uh, we should celebrate that I just can't wait to see her shine uh, at the podium so um, congratulations and I can't wait to see you bring your own style and brilliance Thank to this you. job love you Jen love you, love you. Woo!